Thankfully, configure storage is the easiest section. We can leave this value default. 30 gigabytes, it doesn't sound like much, but the instance will have one unactivated drive that has 200 gigs of storage in it. We can activate that if we run out. However, the 30 should be more than enough for our pixel stream test. Moving down into advanced details, there is one thing of great importance in here. A lot of these values can be left default. They'll work just fine for pixel streaming deployments, at least for this test case. However, we need to create and set an IAM instance profile. We need to do this as we want to use the NVIDIA grid drivers available on AWS, and if we don't set this up now, we won't be able to install them later. So, hit the Create New IAM Profile button, and it'll, it'll open a new window. Wait for this to load. And here we are. Up the top right here, let's hit Create Role. Now that we're here, we can leave this AWS server selected. Select EC2 under Common Use Cases, and click Next. Now that we're here, we're looking for one particular policy. If you enter S3, we're looking for the Amazon S3 read-only permission. This will allow our instance to access the Amazon bucket to install the grid drivers. So, select that, head next. Now we need to give it a name, and we'll call it something simple. Let's go with, say, S3 grid drivers. That way we know in future when we can create a new instance, we'll select this role, and that way we won't have to set this up again. We'll replace the description with a quick NVIDIA grid driver installation. Beautiful. With that done, we'll hit create role at the bottom. Now we wait for it to complete, and we're done. Fantastic. We can now close this window and get back to our console. As you can see here, I've selected S3 grid drivers for the IAM instance profile. That should be everything we need to do at this stage, so we're good to launch.